Uncle GC. Come on, man. How often would you uh, consider role playing? How often would you um, recommend it? Recommend what? Role, role playing, scripts. Oh, every day. I, I recommend role playing every day. And how long? If, if uh, it's worth doing, if it's worth doing one day, it's worth doing every day. And how long would you recommend doing it with the team? Like 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah. Minutes? Like, like, like. Uh, where's, where's Steve Spray? Where's, where, where's the guys that do the role playing? Who wants to do this, Jared? Okay, let, let, let's do a little role play, Jared. Who, you, who do we want to use here? Who you got? Role, role play the close. You come up here, guys. Come up here. Steve Spray, Mr. Steve Spray, farm boy. And Dave, Dave, Come on, Dave. my security Come on, Steve. Bars. Okay, so you, you guys just want to talk about, you guys want to talk about, um, one, one, what you've learned, how long you've been there, Dave? Four years? Four and a half years, In yeah. In my place, how long, Steve? Five years. So what have you learned by being there? Uh, really just everything he talks about where, what people are really thinking. You know, like when he told me that there's only four things people object to, price, time, stall, and product. But the first theory I was covering up, the last one, I was like, oh dude, it's always the product. Yeah. So they don't believe something. And to ask the hard questions, hey, what do you not believe about what we're doing? And it changed everything. Yeah, and, and, and he does a great job. Dave does a great job. Uh, the role playing and the training, the, the success meetings we have every day, how has that helped you both stay focused? And, and how has it contributed to your production? First off, it's stable. I know it's happening every day. Every day at 840, from 840 to 9 o'clock, that's exactly what we're going to do every day. And for me, I got to the point where I get to help the new guys, which helps sharpen me. Uh -huh. So the stable thing, there's no question on this is exactly what we're doing every single day. And so I have to they're doing prepared. role playing at what time every day? 840 to 904. Yeah. So to answer your question, how long? They're doing about 24 minutes every day. So do y'all want to show them how that works? Like we didn't plan this today. So it's Saturday. Um, what would you So I was, hey, Steve, what are you working on today? Are you what, sitting what, down? What are, you are you standing up? Either one. We usually sit down, stand up. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, sit down or stand face up. to face. I mean, we role play with each other. I mean, Dave, this is Steve, Grant Cardone's office. How you doing this morning? Hey, man, what's up? Hey, listen, Grant, when we reach out and give you access to the number one sales training program in the world, you got two minutes? Yeah, I'm not going to be interested, man. I knew you weren't before I called you, but I wanted to get you access to it so that way you could use it before we talked. You got a couple of minutes. I could just give you access. I'd say what? Call me back. In two weeks. Done. I'll call you back in two weeks. But if you give me 30 seconds, I want you to know what I'm going to call you back about. Jump in front of a computer. Go to CardoneUniversity.com. I, I don't have time right now. I know you don't. You got 15 seconds? Okay. Good. Go to CardoneUniversity.com. All right. And see, I'm not hit. I, and it's ex I, he knows what I'm going to say to him. Uh -huh. I'm not coming up with stuff. I'm, it's something. I make it a real call. It's actually what we hear on the call, I'm busy, call me back, I'm not interested, and then that's out of the way, and it gets me to where I wanna go. So now he's got that out of the way, he's had his first guy tell him what? I'm not interested. What's he preparing for today? Right, what's the thing y'all say about Rusty? How long does it take to get Rusty? One day. Sometimes 12 hours. Yeah. Sometimes three hours. So, so you, got, you got a sales team, exactly. You got a sales team coming back from a vacation after three days, can't even find himself for a day and a half. Can't find herself. That, doesn't, you get on the phone, you call somebody, I'm not interested. Oh, God, I hate this job. <laughs> he, he, got, he got this handled already, 840. Okay, now we're going to flip it and have Steve do it the other can, way. Cause that, go ahead. Can I say one thing yeah. about this? So with the role play, it got me to like be in the position to understand what's going on. So... When Grant tells me that it's all made up, and I'm like, okay, good. And then I get on the phone with somebody who says, I don't have time right now. And I, Grant tells me that it's all made up, and I'm like, well, you don't have time for what, man? You pick up the phone. Think about it. He would have time if it was the right thing. The he same would. executive that says they didn't have time is going to go to the gym at 2 o'clock and work out. Like, you guys don't think that these people are so busy that they don't have time, right? I don't care who it is. Everybody makes time for things they want to do. They don't have time for people they don't know, never heard of, want to, be, want to sell them something. They don't have time, right? So what they're going to do now is they're going to flip this so Dave's going to make the sale and he becomes the customer. 
And by the way, you can learn as much from being a customer as being the salesperson. Ding ling. Hey, Steve. Dave here at Grant Cardone's office. What's happening? Uh, not much, man. What's happening? I'll be real quick with you. Grant Ashley, he asked me to reach out to you. He's got a tool he created that increases sales by 40% in the first 60 days. He wanted me to give you some access to it. You have two minutes? Yeah, not right now, Dave, but we're all good. Dude, I knew you were good before I called you, man. We only do business with people that are good. I tell you what, give me 30 seconds. If you don't like what you see in the first 30 seconds, I'll hang up on myself. Well, why don't you just email me something? Maybe we'll take a look next quarter. Done. What's your email? Steve at GrantCardone.com. I'm going to send that right over to you. Now, what do I need to put in there that would actually get your attention? What are your people are working on right now? Uh, well, I mean, we're always working on everything. Yeah, man, everybody's working on everything. But if there was one thing right now that just gives you a headache with your sales team, what would it be? Probably follow-up. Man, why do you say follow-up? They don't do it. How much money do you think that's costing you every month? I don't know. You got 10 sales guys? Yeah. You think each one of them misses one deal a month? Because they're not following up? Yeah, probably. What's one, what's one deal worth to your, custom, or to your company? $30,000. Man, that's $300,000 a month that you're missing out on because your follow-up's not there. That's over $3 million a year. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. You got that two do minutes? I, do I have your attention? But, but you guys got to understand, Dave couldn't even multiply when he came. <laughs> like, the fact that Dave got the first 300 grand out, I was shocked. I was like, God damn, Dave just multiplied. I knew he wasn't going to take it out 12 months. I'm like, ain't no way. <laughs> okay, okay, so look, give these guys a big hand, huh? Good job, guys.